Hello technical writing students, this is Julie Gross and now we're going to talk a little bit more about instructions, the assignment, the rubric, and I'll show you an example. Uh, the actual assignment is in your book and it shows you on my MTI what page number and what exercise you're using. It gives you a bunch of different examples of things that you can choose from in order to write your instructions, okay? You do need uh, to have the important parts in, uh, in your instructions that the book mentions. You need to have an introduction. You need to have your list of materials. You need to have your numbered steps and you need to have a conclusion. Uh, the other section, because there's five things that it says in your book that you need for instructions. The fifth thing is warning or caution section and if that's necessary in what you're doing you can have that as well. If you're writing uh, instructions on something like scanning a document maybe you won't need a warning or a caution section. Um, so that one's not absolutely necessary. You do have to have the first four I mentioned um, but that fifth one can be included if you need it. Visuals are necessary for this assignment so that readers can actually see what it is you're trying to tell them with your instructions and because of that because you're going to be pulling uh, pictures from different places you'll need a works cited list in order to document where you where you got your visuals from. I assume you'll probably pull those off the internet and you'll need to document where you got those pictures. So uh, if you need help Help with your work cited let me know otherwise on my MTI uh, you can look up uh, there's the, the the place where you can go to get to Diana Hacker and that can help you with uh, any questions that you have with MLA style documentation and then our book also talks about it a little bit as well some tips for your instructions assignment are listed on my MTI and they're listed here as well First, choose something on the list you actually know how to do yourself. If you're writing instructions for how to fillet a fish and you don't know how to do that yourself, it's going to be difficult for you to write instructions for it. Number two, don't choose something on the list if you know somebody else around you uh, that's doing that same thing as well. I'd like everyone to do something different. Number three, do not plagiarize from the internet or another source. If I find that you've stolen instructions from another source off the internet or somewhere else, you'll receive a zero on the assignment. Okay? You have to write the instructions on your own. Number four, don't leave out any steps. Be very specific in your process. If you go from uh, one step to the next and you miss something in between, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know that and, and you're going to lose points on your, on your assignment. Number five, make sure your instructions are specific, accurate, and complete. Number six, just by reading your instructions, I should be able to complete the task that you've assigned for me to complete. So think about all those things. Also on my MTI, I have the rubric uh, there for you. It's a 60-point assignment, so it's pretty, pretty big. Uh, for your introduction, you'll have three points. For your materials list, six points. The steps, which is the bulk or the, the heart of the instructions, will be 12 out of the 60 points. Three points for your conclusion, which is a brief wrap-up. Wrap up. Visual should get six points for adding those. Um, if they're appropriate and they're formatted nicely, six points will go towards your Works Cited page for uh, documenting those visuals you've used. Six points, which is 10% for grammar, punctuation, mechanics. Six points uh, or 10% for the format. It should look nice. You need to have that white space around what you're doing. Your headings all need to be matching and similar. And your typography needs to be nice, not too many colors, not too crazy and bold, uh, but it needs to be nicely formatted. Six points towards your word choice and sentence structure. Your verbs need to be in that present tense imperative mood. You need to have those short, clear sentences, no more than 20 words, and you need to have precise terms that you've defined. And then another six points towards are the instructions reader friendly? Are they clear? Are they simple? And are they complete? So think about all of those things. That's how I'm going to grade you on the assignment. Let me show you an example. The example that I'm actually going to show you is something that uh, we've done in class in our face-to-face -face classes. We have them uh, do instructions. Let's see if I can pull it up. For a Lego um, something. And the Lego, it's a Lego assignment. They get to pick whatever it is they want to make. This team did a Lego glider. They had a, a title page with their names and the date on it. They had their little introduction where they said, welcome to the world of Lego, where your imagination and dreams can follow. They have their parts list where they list all of the different Legos they needed for their um, creation. And then they define terms. Remember I said you have to have precise terms. They said that these little deals here are nubs and the things on the bottom are tubes. So they define those. Then they go into their assembly steps. Again, their steps are numbered, the pictures go with the steps, and they're very specific. Start with the 2x10 red brick on a flat surface with a long side facing you, studs facing up, this is the body. And as you can see, you're, they're using that present tense imperative mood. Place the red roof tile, connect the 2x3 roof tile, all of those are in that same tense. They have seven steps at the end, they have their conclusion, the glider is now ready to enjoy, and they do have their source. They only had one source for their visuals, they got that from the Lego Digital Designer, so they give that information there as well where they documented their source. So it's a pretty decent set of instructions, I would say. Again, in the book, they give you a lot of different um, choices for you to use. If nothing there fits you or works for you, email me, let me know, and we'll help you find something that's going to work for your instructions assignment. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you.